What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to look at a Gigapan from Sol 855 and it's from the Curiosity Rover. Now I've done a video on this particular area before. So for the new people who have just jumped on board, I want to show you some really odd looking rocks, but not just rocks. What's embedded in the rocks or their AI manipulation or rock mimicking software is not covering this stuff up. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. And then I'm going to show you something that looks like a petroglyph or a hieroglyph in one of these stones that are laid down on the ground. Is it really a petroglyph or not? Let's just jump right into it. And you can see right here is the MSL Curiosity Sol 855 by Keith Laney. Now, when we jump into this, I'm gonna show you right off the bat some things that are embedded in rocks. Now, you look at this photo, what's the first thing you say? I see rocks. And if I took a quick glance at it, folks, I would think the same exact thing. I would not disagree with you in the least bit. But let's have a closer look at some of these rocks, shall we? Okay, right off the bat, the first few rocks we're going to look at is this one right here. Is that a steel strap or some kind of strap running through these rocks? Look at this right here. You got this strap here between these rocks, and then you've got it below this rock. Now, I also want you to take a close look at the texture that's here. Are you telling me this is real rocks? Look at this. Like I said, folks, I said many times, I live in an area that has rocks, layered rocks, mountains, boulders and i'll tell you what i've never seen a rock that has that weird texture to it in my life we don't have to go very far folks watch this now this is a little bit more of a blurrier area but check this out this part right here looks like a flat piece of steel that has some kind of cut out or has been used for something how about this one here and i thought this was funny because it looks like a dinosaur head carved into stone watch this just tilt your head to the left, check this out. Even has teeth in it. An eye, the head. Now, is it an actual carved out head? Folks, there's no way to vet that because we can't pick it up, we can't handle it, we can't do it. In fact, we can't vet any of this, so it's pure speculation. That's all I do in my videos is just speculate because there's no way, again, to pick these up, feel them, look at them closely and everything else. So we can only speculate as to what these things are. And as always, you guys get the final say what you believe that it is, okay? But all we got to do is just look at some of these rocks, and they're bizarre looking, right? Now, folks, based on many of these photos that I've looked at, these are not all rocks. Now, is there rocks in this photo? Sure. Is there a lot more things being covered up and made to look like rocks? Absolutely. Look at this right here. That's one funky looking rock. We've got this, what looks like a pathway through this rock right here look at this like water has run down from it at one time see that but look at the rocks folks look at this i believe and i said this before and again pure speculation that these buttes hills whatever they may be i believe are their shelter or at least some of them maybe after the catastrophe that happened on mars they decided to burrow into mountains, buttes, underground, whatever it may be, and that a lot of times we see stuff that's laying on the surface that may be a leftover civilization. I don't know. I believe the mechanical parts and what look like structures are what's left of the actual civilization that was living on the surface. Now we're seeing things that look like structures, like it's been burrowed into hills and underground and so on and so forth, right? Over here. How about this right here? Looks metallic, kind of shiny has that square look to it. Folks, I don't have time to show you every single thing in here, but you will get the link as always, and you can check this out for yourself. Just look at the rocks. I mean, I could go to any random rock and it just look at the texture on it. This is CGI at its finest. Go back to older photos like Sol 136 from Curiosity Rover. The rocks look nothing like that. They look much more realistic and much better. So that tells me that this is being covered over. Look at this angle in this rock. Looks like it's been broken off. Nice sharp 90 degree angle. I'll put it right there in the middle of the screen, right there. Check that out, folks. What is that? That to me is part of a broken stone of something much larger 
that it could have been part of a structure or something inside a structure, whatever that may be. But you have to take closer look at these rocks. If you don't, that's all they appear to be from a distance. Simple rocks and nothing more. Now, funny enough, like I said, I have already done this area at one time and I had a screenshot of it. I'm going to show you in Photoshop. Now, these rocks right back here, notice the airbrushing. Look at this. See the tan airbrushing going on right here? See the edge of it right there going up. And look at the way this is blended in, folks. Look at this. It's not sand. That's airbrushing. This here, this brighter area, is the area I believe is a petroglyph. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Very faint lines. You've got what looks like a tail rotor to a plane. Okay. You have a wing running off this way, going right behind the rotor, coming down, coming over to here, and going back to the main body and the fuselage. This side, we have another wing going out like this. And again, this has changed a little bit where you can't see the lines as defined like I have in my photo. Up here, some folks have said up here, it looks like this weird eye type thing. And I'm not so sure that's what it is. It may just be the way the lines are. Just as this petroglyph, I say, is it possible this is a petroglyph or a hieroglyph of a plane? Let me show you this in Photoshop and you'll see what I'm saying. All right, here's the area right here. Now, don't get me wrong, this isn't as sharp and you can see that, but look at the straight lines in here. Going down like this, going down what looks like a 90 degree angle piece like that. Again, we have this airbrushing going on right here like this. And you can see all of this right here. This piece right here. This is what I'm talking about. Okay. Have a look at the lines that are in here. Now, this is two things. This is either intelligently made or this is the way the AI software blocks these things off and actually does its magic, if you want to call it magic. This looks like it's doing that. Coming back down, right? All right. Let's go ahead and get this crappy color off. Make it a little bit more realistic. This is the way Photoshop sees this. Okay. Notice the lines, okay, and it pretty much stops there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and enhance this fully right here. And this is what just bringing the lines out shows. Now, is it possible that this is nothing more than just a random bunch of lines and it kind of looks like that, like a pareidolia thing going on? Absolutely could very well be. But I just found it kind of weird and uncanny that it happens to have that shape, right? And you can see that yourself. This is the original. Actual color and enhancement. And I'm going to go back and forth. And you guys can see the lines that are there faintly, but they are in fact there. So what are we looking at here? Again, is it just nothing more than random lines? Good possibility. This rock right here, like I said, in the back. With this airbrushing. You can see that pretty darn well. You've got this piece here on the left, and I'll zoom into this in a moment. Again, are these straight lines and other shapes, nothing more than the AI trying to block out each object and then cover it up, and this is its way of doing this? Or are these actual objects that are being hidden? Or they're doing their darndest to hide it. I don't know. That's the original. There you go. Folks, there's so much to see in this thing. What's funny about it, like I said, I can show you the original. This rock right here. And of course, it's not as clear as the other. So I'll show you that right now. But notice how this goes up like this. Nice and straight across. Let's look at the pan. Oh, wait a minute. Doesn't look anything like it. Why is that? And I've done a screenshot of this area because I had done a video on this a long time ago. And it doesn't look like that now, does it? And you can see the difference. This is completely straight where the other one is not. I know darn well they're covering something up right there. 
regardless of what it is, something's being covered up. Exactly what it is, I have no clue. But there you go, folks. For the newcomers, I always put the link in the pinned post at the top of the comment section. You can always find the links in the description of the video that I'm making. So be sure to check that out. But there you go, folks. Folks, I've said this before, this is nothing more than CGI. Now, some people will say, well, well, how do you know the whole thing's not fake? Is it possible? Sure. Well, I mean, we know how much they're forthcoming in the truth, right? <laughs> yeah. Now, to me, when I see it, like what looks like a strap running between two rocks, the top rock looks like it has a cutout, like a square. Then you see the strap running between the two rocks and under the rock. Is it something petrified in rocks? I believe it's CGI that did not cover all of it up. In addition, that petroglyph or hieroglyph, not sure what that is. That may be just random lines, and it kind of has a shape of this weird plane type thing. That's a very good possibility. And you can see the airbrushing behind that with those rocks. You can see other shapes that look more like mechanical and intelligently made as opposed to natural. As always, folks, I want to hear your comment. Drop it down below. Please like and share it. It's always appreciated. And please give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. Folks, got plenty more coming your way, so stay tuned. Again, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.